Gamer girls on YouTube. The good, bad, and ugly. What are your thoughts? How is it going everyone? Jirai Gaming here and welcome back to episode number 29 of Jirai's Topic Wednesdays. Now guys, this week's topic is going to be a bit of a controversial one. But I want to say this to every female that's actually watching this and even guys too as well. Please listen to what I have to say before you start <laughs> disliking the video. Because I'm going to make myself very clear. And of course, as well, share my thoughts and opinion on this issue that I think is definitely a big problem. And of course, I'm sure some of you guys will definitely agree with me, especially some of you females too as well. So it may not be all bad and gloomy. <laughs> Let's get into it. First of all, thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode and of course for supporting this series overall on my channel. I absolutely love it and thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Now, be sure to definitely get involved, guys, by leaving your own thoughts and opinion in the comment section down below in regards to this topic and any other topic in each episode to come. And as well as sharing, of course, your suggestion on a topic as well for me to use in an episode. Now, with that said, another way, guys, let's get straight into this one. Now, Gamer Girls on YouTube. Obviously, I broke it up in three different sections. So I'm going to be talking about the three different sections because they are three different sections. Now, the good. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys may relate with me as well when I say that, um, you know, I think I find it personally, in my opinion, I find it very sexy when a girl actually plays game, when she actually enjoys it. Um, I mean, who would want to have be married and your wife plays game with you? Maybe not all the time or as much as you do, because then it may become a competitive uh, situation, which some guys may not want. Uh, no guys want to be, you know, beaten by a girl, <laughs> if you ask me my opinion. Even though I think that might be actually sexy, and I may make for some competitiveness too as well. So, like again, I think that's I think that would be sexy, regardless if it's competitive or not. I just think that would be sexy. So I don't think there's anything more sexy than a chick um, that plays video games. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like a chick that may have a little bit of sports in her, you know, like watching football, uh, aka soccer and so forth, etc. I just think that'd be really sexy. So I think, you know, that's definitely a good thing for, you know, a female. And then again, I think it also helps her relate. And I think it could definitely help the relationship when it comes between a man and a female, because you have a lot of women who don't understand why guys play, you know, games and so forth. And some women don't approve of it. Uh, some women think it's very childish, which I think it's not. And not only that, guys, but I think it also helps with stress too as well. It's something that definitely helps me with stress as well, especially when you're dealing with quite a few different employees and so forth that are under you. Yeah, it's something that definitely helps you dealing with stress. And, you know, I think it definitely helps a lot. So um, just imagine if your, your wife or your girlfriend actually plays games to a while, she'll find out, oh, it definitely helps with stress. And again, I said, I think it will definitely help with your relationship too as well. And there's actually stats on that too as well. There's studies that have been done on that and it shows that to be the case. And in fact, there's a lot more women that are actually enjoying playing games now as well, getting into it. And I mean, genuinely, not just, you know, some of these fake gamers, <clears throat> if you get me. Um, but that's enough when it comes to good. Let's jump straight into, of course, the bad. No, the bad is you have a lot of females get a lot of abuse. And I mean, not just abuse, but I'm talking about some ridiculous things uh, that happen to them. But we talk about people just being sexist and, you know, just outright some stupid things that are said on their channels. Now, for example, I've been on a lot of different gamers channel and, and obviously these are girls that are closed or something you may not even be able to see uh, their face or may just even see a little bit of their face just playing. And they're pretty much just, you know, playing and enjoying the game. And you have a lot of guys, especially some guys don't feel like women should be playing COD. They feel like that is actually a guy game. So a lot of guys will be, you know, very upset and, um, you know, put our posts uh, really racist or sexist remark, you know, in, you know, some of these uh, females or some of these girl gamers in their comment section, you know, talk about how that girl should not be playing COD. It's a, it's a guy game. So some guys will put hate, she should be making me a sandwich, etc. if you get my point. And um, a lot of them too as well, you know, will have the nerve to post in the comment section, you know, tell me what your boob size is, you need to be twerking versus playing. And some of these things that I think can be very, um, you know, degrading to a lot of women, especially if you're generally enjoying the game and enjoy playing, you know, games in general, and you're not one of those fake, uh, you know, female gamers. Then yeah, I, I'm I'm sure it should bother you guys, and that and again, it just doesn't come down to gamers because you know a lot of females overall just get that, especially if you're hot or have big boobs and you're not necessarily showing them off. A lot of guys do that. I don't know why that is. I just think that's very disrespectful to women, in my opinion. And some guys really need to get a grip on themselves. You know, I think I just think that is really just out of 
you know, out of character for a man to really behave in general, especially when you don't know someone like that, you know what I mean? So that's just my opinion when it comes to bad. I mean, they get a lot of stick and I'm just saying it's not fair unto them. Now for the ugly, and this is by far uh, maybe one that I may get a lot of stick on. But again, let me tell you guys how I feel about the ugliness of, of course, female gamers. Now, you have a lot of fake female gamers that all of a sudden decide uh, after they feel like, you know what, I'm not making enough money from my website <laughs> where I'm half nude or whatever the case may be. So let me get into gaming where there's a lot of guys into gaming and I'm sure a lot of guys will subscribe to my channel, especially if I'm showing cleavage, I'm showing my boobs and, you know, playing game, my bra, my panties and so forth, etc. There's a lot of them. I'm not going to call any name, but I've seen it tons and tons of time. I've even went, been to Twitch accounts and see chicks, you know, guys paying these chicks and donations of uh, whatever you want to call it and these girls are in their pop <laughs> these girls are in their bra and panties uh supposedly gamers doing absolutely nothing in my opinion uh, which i find very very irritating i think it's you know really degrading to the real women that actually enjoy playing game let me know what you guys think about this one hey let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys thank you as always for tuning in again i'm your host dry gaming and thank you guys for watching